Yo, what is up everyone? Revolt here, bringing you guys a brand new stream highlight. Today I got one with a PCH scammer that I believe is pretending to be a girl this entire time. It's absolutely weird and some of the stuff this scammer says during this call is fucking creepy. Oh my gosh, it is so creepy, man. All right, I'm gonna let y'all get straight into this call. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and if you like this video, give it a like. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Wait, is this guy calling me back? Hello? Mr. Wallace? Yeah? How are you doing, sir? Who's this? It's the publisher's clearance house. What? Publisher's clearing house? Yes, sir. I'm going to play back a recording and you're going to listen to it, sir, because I need to know if this is you, because we called you in regards of the cash awards that it's supposed to be delivered to you. OK, Mr. Wallace. Wait, when has this happened? Listen. Is that oh, you, yeah. Mr. Wallace? That was like a That's week a, ago or something, wasn't it? Right, right. Because what happened is... I just assumed it was a mishap or something because I didn't get no phone no, call, it was text message, or nothing. What happened, Mr. Wallace? I'm, let me notify you. The week that the, the prize was supposed to deliver to you last week... But because we had... Yeah, last uh, week or something, right? Because I remember that's no, when I no. had a doctor's appointment and I was checking right. my phone to see if I had gotten voicemails from my doctor and I saw a thing saying I had been picked in some sort of prize or some sort of winning thing right. or something. And I was, right. well, what is this? And I call and it said, leave a voicemail because I guess nobody was there or something at the time. Right, because we were all out delivering prizes and making surprises Bro. happening. Because <laughs> this was like a week ago. At the phone because one you guys remember are, when I was leaving voicemails on stream? To be delivered. This was like we're a week ago. We're starting out some charity events for some elderly American okay. citizens just like yourself. But I want to. Oh, this is like a charity that, thing. That, no, no, no. I'm saying once oh. you, if we, if you miss the call, we don't sit down and we don't sit down and do nothing. We always find ourselves something to I've do. I've definitely you talked to this guy I'm before. Saying. He sounds very so familiar. Okay. So at that time when you call, we Yo, were Atomic on the road. Pixel Ninja with the freaking 101 bits. Business. Yo, thank you, So dude. that's why you haven't got a hold of us. But we are Well, I tried calling. I, I, I used... That voicemail well, that see, I left, see, I tried that, calling, but... That time I was on the road. I was oh. on the road with the delivery team, so you couldn't get me because you didn't Who's have the delivery the team? What's that? That's the publisher's clearance house delivery team. I work with the publisher's clearance house, Mr. Wallace. Oh, okay. That's where you... I thought this was like a... Oh yeah, I seen him on uh, I seen him online. My my friend, he's he's real into it too, and I seen it on the, you know, when I sometimes going on the internet, I seen it. Yeah, uh huh. I seen it. And I, I it's uh that that one guy, uh, those big. He come with those big cardboard like check things, people's houses. And right, stuff. right. That's Todd Salone and David Sayers. We're with oh, Steve okay. Harvey. You're you're familiar with Steve Harvey, right? Oh yeah, I seen him on. Uh, he, he, what was he on? He uh, Late by the Bell or the something TV show back in the right. day. Yeah. Right, right, right. Because he does some sponsorship for us, and she, um, Mr. Harvey's the one that does our broadcasting on the television. Oh, so he's doing that the, now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I remember yeah, he sure. used so, to be uh, on TV, uh, Saved by the Bell, still I think. on TV. Oh, yeah. He's still on TV. Oh, yes, okay. Sir. But I just want to say, how was your doctor's appointment, Mr.? Um, how was your doctor's appointment? Oh, it was Mr. fine. Wallace? I had to, had to go down there for, you know, the yearly routine checkup. Had to... 
to get blood drawn and things like that. So I felt a little woozy oh. after, but other than that, it was okay. It was it went like it should have. They said it was all. Uh, they said it was all fine. Said I was healthy as a horse. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Because no, um, a lot of people at your age, they they be using wheelchairs and stuff like that, and they're oh. disabled and all. And I'm glad uh, that to know you're not. Yeah, well, luckily I'm not. I'm not disabled. Um, you know, I'm getting. A, I, I do have some eyesight issues sometimes. That's why so I had to really, get glasses. You but you don't really drive a lot, right? You don't really drive a lot. I, I mean, I drive, you know, a couple times a week, so I got to get groceries and the necessities, you okay. know, things so like does, that. But no, I don't go as, my, out as much as I used to do, that's for sure. I understand. So you, you, you don't have anyone to help you around, like a kid, grandkid, no one to help you? Well, help me with what? Like your groceries and doctor's appointments and stuff oh, like that. No, I can still handle that. It's just it, it, I can still. I'm ain't I ain't that far gone. <laughs> I ain't that far gone. I I can still handle that. Oh, that's so sweet. Well, Mr. Wallace, you're speaking with Mary Watson, and I will be your prize director. This is a girl. With, um, to the starting of this until the end. So we want to set up back a delivery because I only I could only call you now because uh, I just got back um, from out of st I just got back because I yeah. was, I wasn't in your state I just finally got back in your state so we have a few deliveries set up for Monday so I hope that yours is gonna be coming out of the listing so we want to make sure that you're home and you don't have a doctor's appointment or no errands to run when we be over there, because we want to be there about noon. Is noon time good for you Monday, Mr. Wallace? On Monday? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, What? what's the occasion? Oh, my. Do you remember the call that you returned? I, uh, yeah, I remembered, because uh, I've been listening to it. It was real choppy uh, going in and out. I, I just know it said, I uh, selection selection for something. Right. You something I was like, well, I should call back and see what's going on here. You know, so right. I called that's I left that voicemail that you just played there. Uh cuz right. I know it so said to leave happened? your your name and stuff. I know it said something about an email, but I don't really use my email. So I that's why I just left my Mr. phone Wallace? number there. Yeah, it is my cell phone. You have a landline at the time? Huh? Do you have a landline, sir? No, I, I got rid of that. Maybe, uh, when is that? Maybe, maybe like a year or two ago because we were, I was getting, uh, spam calls all the time on it and it rings. Oh, so when it rings, you hear it throughout the whole house. So every oh, freaking hour or so i'd get this loud ringing and i pick up and talk about medicare and medicaid all this oh, stuff and i didn't I wasn't interested in none of that so i said i'd get rid of it i got it a lot also all right mr wallace what yeah. are, um you live alone you say you say you live alone oh uh, yeah that's right so um you're you're widowed or yeah, I'm widow. The wife she biffed it a couple of years ago here and now, about in twenty when was that? Twenty nineteen? Quite a while ago oh, now. God. Let's get those years are those years are quickly adding up. I under I'm really I my condolence goes out to you. I hope she's in a better place looking down on you, seeing that oh, you're I doing appreciate fine. that. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Well, as um, my job here is to have your um, your your package delivered to you because you were selected for this month's um, first place winner of eight and a half million dollars and the brand oh. new car from the publisher's clearance house. So, the day we called, my guys came by, but you weren't there because you had a doctor's appointment, right? Yeah, because I think. That was last, this was all last week, right? 
Right, right. That's correct. Yeah, because I correct. remember I was going through the phone and I had some calls to make back, and I remember I was leaving. When was was this on Wednesday or Friday? I think it about Wednesday. Probably, because that's when I had my doctor's appointment on Wednesday. But I also know I was calling people back on Friday too. So yeah, because right, I right. remember I was going through Wednesday. there. Because it, it, I had to check my, my mailbox because it, it adds up at sometimes. So somebody who came yeah. and tried to make it some sort of delivery, and I guess yeah, I wasn't so here because I was at the doctor's appointment. Right. So we had to have. Um, that's why we left the call because we don't normally call our winners. We normally show up and have the delivery made out to them with those big um, cardboard checks with your name and address on it and the figure of eight and a half million dollars we also have a brand wait new did you just here say here. eight million dollars i said eight and a half sir to be precise the check is has it has an eight with a dot with a five and then a million dollars written out in words on it with your name on it so oh my gosh i swear to you sir and i have no time to lie i'm a christian and woman of god I don't play games, and I understand that you were busy. But at the end of the day, Mr. Wallace, health comes before wealth. Because if you're not healthy, you're not going to be wealthy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So I, I win a portion selected. of that, or, or what do you mean? Or I all. You win all of that, Mr. Mr. Wallace. All of it is five million dollars. Eight and a half million dollars. It's eight point five million dollars, and the brand new car. The check is sitting right down here, right here in my office, looking at. Oh my looking gosh! At the check. I'm looking at my phone screen with your telephone number on it right now, and I can hear your voice right now. I know. Don't think for one second that you've lost anything, Mr. Wallace. We're just going to reschedule the delivery date and have it brought out to you so you could see that this is real. I wish you were home on Wednesday so we don't have to make a double route, which I think they're going to be... Um, well, I'm home now. <laughs> well, I'm, uh, if we could take care of the... Uh, we could have it out to you today, but there is a, oh late, my gosh. Um, a late fee here. If you could take care of the late fee of the... Um, the tw it's 2500 We could have it out for you today. Oh, uh, because I missed the, because I wasn't home. Yes. There's a fee. Right. What's yes, this? What's this fee? fee? The late fee of um, it's twenty five hundred dollars. Oh man, and that is. Don't worry yourself about it. Listen to me, Mister Wallace. This is here, yours, and no one can claim it. If I have to get some sponsors to intervene to get your prize open to you i will get it over to you because at the end of the day you were not home and ignoring us you were ha you had a doctor's appointment i it didn't know nothing before. about it i mean when i got that uh, original it voicemail it was surprise. choppy it was all choppy but i heard it was saying something about i needed to reach out to somebody and right. you know so right. i tried because reaching you, out right. but uh, i there just wasn't, I, I didn't know, you know, I, I wasn't trying to I uh, maliciously ignore. No, no, we you know? understand. We understand. We do understand. Remember, um, we, we know that you, you called us back and you explained that you had a doctor's appointment on Wednesday and you That's made right. a call. We got the call. Right. We got the call on Friday. So we try to reach out back to you, Mr. Wallace, to let you know that your prize is secure. So all we need to do is sort out the, the, the late fee here so we could come on back over as soon as possible. And Mr. Wallace, do you think you could? Yes, okay. sir. There's a there. Uh, because what happened is, remember, the delivery guys, they have to get paid for this. And the um the taxes will be on you. You will have to take care of the taxes with the IRS when you receive your prize. You understand me? Oh, uh, taxes. Yeah, I know. I, mm -hmm. I know. I know all about those freaking taxes. <laughs> it's right, the story, right. so a, you, story of life. 
Right. So you will have to take care of that when you get your money, but before you can't do it before. So you have to do it after. After you receive your money, you could go about taking care of your taxes. So right now okay. we're trying to get the um, stuff sorted out here. So what I need you to do right now, I'm going to speak with a sponsor to see if I could come up with at least 1500 to see if I could cover up some of the, the late charges here because the bank is holding the check, um, the holding everything. So once we have everything sorted out, we could, we're good to go. So do you think you could come up with at least a thousand dollars, Mr. Um, yeah, I think because I probably it, could do that. Yeah. All right. Because remember it's 2,500 and I'm going to speak with my sponsor. So listen, what you're going to do at the moment. So I could get my ass over there because I, um, I'm really looking forward to oh, see damn. you, darling. And I'm really happy to have you back and to know that you're still amongst the land of the living because <laughs> many of our people are really old and they didn't make it, but you did finally made it along um, up, up here. So I just want to say congratulations, Thorlin, Mary Watson here at your rescue to let you know that your money and your car is oh, safe. So what I need you to do right now, well, thank you. our company, our company, we do not take cash or check up front. So what you're going to be doing, you're going to be getting yourself a registr um, the registration card. You're going to be obtaining yourself two um, registration cards at your nearest CVS store location, like a Walmart, Kmart, or Walgreens, Family Dollars, or Dollar General. Do you have any of those in close proximity? Um, I have a Walgreens. And I, oh, there okay, also yeah. is a Walmart, too. I have both of okay, those, good. too. All righty. So what happened is we have list. How would you like the, um, the presentation to be done for you today, sir? Would you like it to be publicized or private and confidential? What do you mean, publicized? All right. Remember, we're coming over with the check the balloons, the champagne. We want to know if we should bring the TV guys, the mag um, the Ford mag the Forbes magazine, you know, to advertise it on television so everyone in the world could see it, or should we just have it listed for private and confidential where this is between you and whoever you want to tell about it? Because remember you're living uh -huh. alone at a senior age. So we don't want to jump to any conclusion and do anything that you might regret at the end of the day. So we always let you guys make that decision on your own. So would you like to have a private delivery or a publicized delivery? So a public is TV, essentially. Right, all over the place. So your business will be all mm. over all your nosy neighbors and everyone who hasn't called you in years, they will be, oh, I saw that you won some money. We need a cut of it. Can you give me something? Blah, blah, blah. Stuff like oh, that. Oh, yeah. I don't really know if I'd be interested in having that go on. Okay. So I'm going to have your, um, your stuff listed as private and confidential. So what I need you to do for me now, Mr. Wallace, I'm, um, are you dressed as yet, sir? Are you dressed? Uh, no, I'm not currently dressed. I would, I would, uh, do I, I have to go, do I have to go somewhere? Yes, you're going to be going down to the Walgreens to, to obtain the two registration card for the, you're going to have, um, have them for $500 a piece. So okay. that's a thousand dollars that I told Bro, you that about. other pop-up so scammer keeps trying to call me it. back so when now. when we get over there. There's a barcode going to be on the back of the cards that is going to be scanned by me, Mary Watson, along with the delivery team, and you're going to be signed in for your check. So if you want us to escort you to your bank to have your check lodged or deposit, because you're going to be able to make a withdrawal the same day. Is your bank, it's today's Friday, is your bank closes yet? No, they they close it. Uh, I think they close okay. at five or so. Because uh, I'm with uh, Wells Fargo. Okay, what's the time on your watch? Uh, right now it's one sixteen p.m. 
All right, good, good, good. So we have a we have a couple hours, about four hours on our time in here. So I need so to get a check, is what, what you say? Could you just? No, remember, you're getting a check. We're getting a certified cashier's check of over eight and a half million dollars. Uh, so I thought I was going to be able to get a meal for a second there. We're bringing it to the there. Wells Fargo to have it cash. So you're going to okay. have it lodged in one of your accounts, either your check-ins or your savings. So when you go down to the bank, we already notified the bank about your winning. So the bank should have the money there in 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 order if you want to make a withdrawal, which I doubt it you're going to make a withdrawal, but we need you to make a withdrawal to see that the check is legit and you are you have full access of your money. So, so I need to go to the bank we, right uh, now. We, uh, we're just at no, what you need to do, let me you know, let me talk to you clearly so you have a okay. better understanding. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused so on the process. The right, right. So listen to me now. Let me walk you through it because I know that you're full of understanding. You're a smart man. So remember that late fee, the late charge I told you about? Yeah, because when I was at I spoke, the I told doctor's. You I'm going to Right. So don't and and because you were at the doctor and you explained that to me, I I'm going to speak with one of my sponsor to see if they could cover up um at least fifteen hundred dollars. I'm going to see if I could cover up fifteen hundred dollars for you. So once you have the check, once you get the money, you will pay that back. You don't have to worry about that for now. Only okay. thing you have to worry about is the five the thousand uh, thousand dollars. So. In order for, to have the tax, the the fee paid, you're gonna be you're gonna obtain the registration card at the Walgreens. You said there's a Walgreens close by, right? Yeah, it's maybe like ten minutes away or so. Something something about that. Oh. All right, so you're gonna be heading down to the Walgreens to obtain the two cards, five hundred dollars a piece. That's a thousand dollars to take care of the ta the late fee here that we have process once we have this process the late fee is going to be taken care of today so after we finish that we're going to be bringing you down to your bank with your check so we're going to escort you down to your bank to have your check lodged okay because okay. remember this is a big check you can't just bring it any and anywhere you have to bring it at a bank and you're with Wells Fargo and we're with Wells Fargo Bank of America TD and Chase. So you're good. You're so once you have made a deposit you deposit your check today, you're supposed to be able to make a withdraw out of that eight and a half million dollars today, if you understand what I'm saying. If you feel like okay. it. If you don't, you don't have to do it. But we just want to make sure that you you see that your money is going to be available today so once you have the check lodged or deposited into your check-ins or your savings account you are eligible to make a withdrawal the same day you don't have to wait for five days for your check to process no your check will be processed in 15 minutes time so you could just sit down in the conference room because we're going to be heading into the conference room with the bank teller and all the money is available in 15 minutes time. So you could make a withdrawal the same day. Understand me, Mr. Wallace? Okay. But, but so, first I have to do take care of that fee though, before right, any of that happens, right, so essentially. That's all you gotta do. So, right. So all I need you to do is get yourself dressed, Mr. Wallace, get your. Okay. Yourself dressed. Let me know when you leave the line open and let, let me know when you're get your finished dressed and in the car. We're going to have the line open here, okay? Because we're on a monitored and recorded line for company assurance, okay? Okay. All right, yeah, let, let me go and let me go and do that then. Uh cuz I don't right. I need to get I need to get my my shirt, jacket, all that stuff. Uh, okay. okay, so should I call you back or 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 what do just I do? Leave, just leave the line just leave the line open for me.
Just leave the line open for me, Mr. Wallace. You don't okay. have to hang on. Just rest the phone down. When you're back, you say, Mary, I'm back. I will be on the line. Okay. All okay, right. I'll go. I'll go do that then. Uh, give me, uh, right. give me maybe like like five minutes or so. Uh, not a problem, Mr. Wallace. Take your time. You don't need. We're not in a rush here. We pass the worst. We're at the best part of your life right now. So oh take my your gosh. time. If it's going to take you, just take your time. If it takes you five or ten, I will be on the line. I will just leave the line open. Okay, go do what you got to do. Yeah, I'll back. just put the phone on the table. I'll just put the phone on the Not table, Dan. Yes, do that. Do that. Put okay. it down and go. Go now. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Thank you. Okay, I just hung up on him so he could call me back. Because my stupid call software, their phone number doesn't show up in my call history unless I end the call. So I'm going to pretend that I put the phone down and accidentally hung up. Yeah, he's calling back. Here we go. Hello? Yes, um, you hanged up by accident. Oh. Oh, geez, sorry. I guess I pressed the button when I was putting the phone down. I was literally just walking away, and then I saw that I heard the ringing coming up again. Sorry, let me be more careful when I put the phone down this time. No problem. Uh, Sorry about that. Mr. Wallace? Mr. Wallace? Yes? Get yourself a pen and a clean sheet of paper. I'm going to give you my office, my number, my personal number, in case we get disconnected, you know how to reach me. So write huh. this number down. Uh, let me grab let a it... paper here. Oh, one second. Okay. Hold on. I got to find a pen. Oh, hold on. All right, I got a paper and pen here. So it's 985. Okay. 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 Uh, I got written down here. Is that All right, right? I need you to just, yes, just end the call and dial back that number for me. Can you do that for me, please? Dial on that phone number? Yes, just hang, remember, this is the phone we're on right now. So just end the call and call me back on it just to see if you, you it works. Okay, let me do that. Let okay. me do that, Dan. All right, got to add a little bit of delay. Um, oh, so this is the number that he called. Oh, yeah. So I looked this up. So I can't, I think he's using a different number. I can't find the actual PCH, like, scammer post. So I think he's using a different number. So I was trying to find, like, the original post or something. And that other pop-up scammer keeps trying to call me back still. He's called me like six times now. The pop-up scammer, he's still trying to call me back. Hello, Mr. Wallace? Hey, hello. Yeah, this is me. It's Paul. Hello? Yeah. Okay, Paul, it's Mary Watson. Just put the phone down and go get yourself dressed. Okay, I'm going to go do that then. Get, just give me maybe uh, five minutes or so. Not a, not a problem. Just put the time and put it, get disconnected, okay? All right, okay. All right.
All right, I muted it now. All right, so they think that I'm getting ready right now. Let me get all my timers and stuff going. I was not expecting this. Cold called by a PCH scammer. I apparently called a week ago. Like, my goodness, man. So let me start a timer here. Start a timer here. So he can know that we're getting ready. Get ready to go and get my thousand dollars stolen. But hey, at least he lowered it from twenty five hundred dollars, right? So there we go. So what do you guys think about this PCH scammer? What do you guys think about this PCH scammer here? All right, let me get all this uh, moved around here. I think I'll do is I'll place this here so it'll be a little bit harder for me to see the YouTube chat, but ah, shoot, or maybe I should move it. Had to rearrange some things here. There we go. That'll be a little better. Get this out of the way. You think Mary sounds like Barry? Yeah, when they said Mary, I was like, what? Like, really? Okay, you know, well, we're all with it, man. I wonder how many people actually get caught up in the scam. Quite a bit, actually, unfortunately. Because people, people just don't know, man. Very sucky. Very sucky, for sure. All right, let me grab all grab all our fake audio here. I didn't I didn't have any of this set up. This this scammer kind of sounds like one that's gonna want me to honk my horn horn too. All right, so I gotta get everything up here. What's the weather like in Texas right now? Clear. Oh, it's supposed to be raining tomorrow. Excessive heat warning. And I told him I'm getting my jacket. Oh, boy. Um, let's see how this sounds. Perfect, perfect. 
get our car horn. Maybe just a little bit too loud. There we go. Car horn. Get something uh, maybe this one will work. Oh yeah. <laughs> there we go. So it's nice and windy when we're going into the supermarket or the not supermarket. Walgreens, but All right, we got all our sounds ready. It's been five minutes, five and a half minutes. <laughs> oh man, you guys are ready for this? This is <sighs> this 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 freaking scammer came out of nowhere. Like, bro, we're we're sitting there. I'm sitting there talking about the ConnectWise control scammers. And then all of a sudden, you know, we got PCH calling me. I've won $8 million. Apparently. I was going to, I was going to end the call at the three hour mark too. And I could tell this is probably going to go over that or the stream. So. Yo, know, here you guys go. You guys get a bonus long call here, man. Because you know how long these go. <clears throat> so, here we go. Alright. Hello? I'm here, Paul. I'm here. Okay, I'm all uh, dressed and stuff. I did check the weather. It says excessive heat warning, so I went against bringing my jacket. Oh, beautiful. that's good. That's good, because I was just about to tell you it's really hot. So, all right. All right, I need you to listen to me carefully now, Paul. I need you to listen carefully to me now, okay, Mr. Wallace? Okay. All right, so... I was just speaking with my agents, and we're going to, in order to have this done, there is a few protocols that you have to follow, which I know that you're a man who protocols? knows how to follow protocols. Yes, there's a few protocols I need you to follow, okay? Okay. Due to the fact of your, um, the, the, um, the, pro the presentation of your winnings. Why is this so? Let me notify you. Remember, you stated to me that you'd like to have your business listed as private and confidential, right, Mr. Wallace? Yeah, because I didn't. I just don't know really much about you know the news right, and right. stuff so like now, that. You know. So now, now I need you to listen carefully to me now, okay? Because if you don't listen to me now. We're, that's where the problem is going to come in. And I know you don't want any problem, any hiccups between your eight and a half million dollars. I know you don't need, you don't want that, right? No, I don't. Right. So in order for us to have no hiccups or no buck toes, you're going to listen to me carefully now because... Your pa your package is listed as private and confidential, so I need you to write this down. You're going to be going down to the store to pick up a reg your registration card, okay? So in order for you to pick up your registration card and get out of the store without any eyes on you, you're anyone at when you go to the, um, the teller to cash your card out, when they ask you what's the purpose of the call, you tell them it's for a family member. You don't tell them you're, it's for your winnings because that's 
that is giving away your prize winning um, information because they're going to know that you have won eight and a half million dollars and we don't want any form of target on your back. Remember, you live target. alone. I beg your pardon? You said a target on my back? Not exactly a target, but what, why I say that is your business is listed for private, on co it's confidential, so we're going to keep it that way. Just say it that way. We're going to keep your business private, so you're going to do whatever needs necessary to keep your business private, right? Yeah, that is true. I did say I wanted to keep it private, yeah. Right, so in order for you to keep your business private, when you go down to the store to pick up these two cards, they're going to ask you a, um, a few questions, but they're going to ask you one particular question that is going to be standing out. They're going to ask you, what's the purpose of the card? And you're going to turn to them. You don't have to be rude, which you can, but I don't want you to be rude. Okay, Mr. Wallace? So if okay. they ask you what's the purpose of the call, you don't have to say it's not your business. That's being rude. So you don't want to be rude. You want to be professional because you're you're an um you're elderly person. You're going to be professional. So you're going to say it's for a family member. That's it. That done deal. So okay. they don't know. So it will be. They don't know what it is for. So they're just going to think, oh, he's just buying. Um, the gift card for a family member, it's good. So you're not going to go down there and say, oh, you know, I won eight and a half million dollars from the publisher's clearance house and they told me to pick up that you don't do that because they will know that you're a millionaire now and you don't want to have no one um, snooping around in your business. That's why I said a target, not literally means someone is going to target you. Okay. Okay. And so so somebody's going to come and ask me about it, and I'm supposed to tell them that it's for uh, a, a, a... A family... Me okay, listen how this yeah. goes, Mr. Wallace. When you're at the cashier, the cashier is going to ask you, he's, she's going to ask you, what's the purpose of the cards? You're going to say it's for a family member. Done deal. You understand me? Okay, so when I'm in the... So, it's not, any, line. it's not I beg your pardon? When I'm in the checkout line. Right. When you're in the checkout line, um, the lady is going to ask you because they're a, a little bit nosy because they like to find out people's business. So when you're in the checkout line, um, at the cashier, not the check, yes, it's the checkout line. So when you're at the cashier, the cashier is going to ask you, what's the purpose of the card? you're going to turn to her and say it's for a family member and she will just say okay no problem and she will give you won't have any problems but i'm just i'm just remembering you because you have it listed as private and confidential we want to be as private as as, as possible understand okay so okay right. so because so, they might uh, try and tell the news or something about it or something like that right 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 because that's there that's what they're there for they're there to notify the news and to see if you're paying your taxes on time they're very nosy so you yeah. have to be very you have to be very vigilant at what you're doing at the end of the day because you don't want to attract any persons that is not supposed to be attracted to this one you understand me okay yeah i i, I see yeah i was just right, a bit so, confused at the start because you were saying i had to tell somebody and i didn't understand who i'm so who i was supposed to be right telling right. and so talking that's to what, that's why i sit you down and i give you better understanding so you understand a little bit better Okay, yeah, that helped me understand a bit more because I was for a bit, for a little bit there I was quite confused. I understand. So that's why I sit you down and I break it down to you. So what I need you to do is to write down the name of the card. Uh on like a piece of paper or something. I beg your pardon? On, on like a piece of paper or something like that? Yes, write, uh, yes. I needed to write it on a piece uh, of paper, the name of the card that you be, you be, um, you be getting. The name of the card is a vanilla 
Visa debit card. That's the name of the, it's a, it's a gift card. So it's a vanilla gift card. I need you to write that Let down. Let me get a pen. No problem. Okay, what, what is it? Vanilla, like the flavor vanilla. Vanilla? Yes, like the flavor vanilla. It's a vanilla gift card. That's the name of the card. Gift card? Right, vanilla gift card. Okay. So, um, do you know how to send a picture on your phone, Mr. Wallace? I'm not sure. Okay, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So the name of the card is a vanilla gift card, okay? Vanilla gift card. That's what I got written down here. I just wrote okay. it on the same paper where you had me write your phone number there. I just wrote it on the same paper. Remember, you're going to bring the piece of paper with you in the store. I'm not going to be on the phone with you while you're in the store, okay? Okay. So, all right. So, I when you're all right. So, you could we could um do you have Bluetooth in your car or you you have a headset? How do you have any of those? Um I got uh Bluetooth, yeah. All right. All right. Let me know when you're in the car, okay? Okay. Uh, so you okay, have, so I need to have, should be heading out now then. Right, so you have the ta you have the thousand dollars to get the two cards, right? Uh, yeah, I was just oh yeah, I need to ask you. Does it matter if I, what what I, if I pay with a credit card? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just all the only thing matters is to keep your business private. So when they ask what's the purpose of the card, it's for a family member. You could even you just and get that will keep them cool. So once they know it's for one of your family members, because they want to know if you're, you know. So anyway, let me know when you're in the car and connected to the Bluetooth. Okay. All right. Yeah, let me do that because I got a, okay. All right. Okay. Let me get a, grab my keys and everything. Um, yeah. All right. Let me do that. All right. Give me a second here. All right, now we're pretending that we're going to the car. Forgot to grab this one. There we go. Move this back here. Yeah, these are Jamaican scammers. They're not Indian scammers. Hello? Yes. I'm just trying in to the car? see where my wallet is. Okay, take your time. No need to rush. Okay. I know I put it somewhere down here. I think this is... What is this, my second or third cold call? Well, it's not a cold call. Because th this is one of the PCH scammers. I, last week, I don't know if it was Wednesday or not. But it was during one of the streams, if you guys remember. Um, we were trying to get PCH scammers on the phone. And I was sitting there calling PCH scammers. And a bunch of them weren't picking up. So I was leaving voicemails. If anyone remembers that. I was leaving voicemails trying to see if any of them would end up calling back. And it turns out, over... You know, like a week later here, we got a PCH that calls me back. Okay, I got it here. Okay. Let me get good. out the house and, and my keys and everything. 
Uh, give me a second, please. No problem. Take your time. Hello? Hello? All right, I'm in the car now. Okay, let me know when I'm on Bluetooth, okay? Well, I, I, it does it automatic when I turn the car on. I don't know what how to do What type of car it. is that? What, what type of car is that? It's a Ford Fiesta. What year is it? Oh, jeez. I have... No clue. I think it's kind of recent. I got it used. How do I don't? How do I see the year? That's okay. Don't worry about it. I see it when I get over there. Okay. Okay, so uh, where am I? Where do I need to go? You Walgreens? are going to the Walgreens. Yes, that's correct. Okay, let me get this open. All right. Okay. Hello, did it switch over? All right, good, good. So. You don't. You're not going to be in with any problems with the law, because the officers. Oh, I, I got a ticket the not. other day. I got a ticket the other day because I was talking to my my grandma on the phone while driving, and I didn't even realize there was a cop behind me. I uh, you, you can hear. I can hear you coming through the speakers. Can you hear me? I can hear you. That's why oh, I know. Oh, well, you then have, that's good. Have, uh huh? That, yeah, I'm saying I could hear you fine. Uh -huh. I don't. I need. You. How far are you out from the Walgreens? You say? Uh, it's about eight to ten minute driver. So I'm okay. turning right now, trying to make a turn here to so get out on the road. Uh, it's usually eight to ten minutes or so like that. Hello. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I heard. I heard you the first time. Oh. Okay. I was wondering if the Bluetooth was messing around or something, because I know sometimes the signal can get. A little weird on the cell phones. Oh, I understand. They ain't plugged in like the home phones are, you know. So I was just making sure that that was all working fine. Hello. Hello? I'm still here. I'm here. I'm here, darling. Oh, there you are. You're not hearing me clearly? I was asking you something, but it seems oh, like... Oh, I didn't thing. hear nothing coming through at all. Sometimes it's like that. Sometimes it's like that. But don't worry, I'm here. And I want to let you know I'm, I'm excited. I'm going to be I'm going to be honest with you. I'm excited. I can't wait to meet you. You sound like a very good man, and I'm happy to have this. Do, I'm doing this for you because I've done a lot of deliveries in your state before, and this is the first time I I'm really corresponding with a person like this. And I just want to let you know, all is well. Congratulations, and I hope you spend your money wisely. Okay. Oh yeah, well, I guys, you know, I really appreciate all this, and you guys. You know, coming out and reaching out to me again after the fact with the whole right, right. medical appointment normally, thing. 
You know, my ma- my supervisor, my head supervisor this morning, they were get- they're, they're saying to me I should have the check. You should what? Hold on just a minute. My delivery guys are calling. Oh, okay. I'll uh, just keep driving. Are you hearing me? Oh, yeah, I can hear you. I was saying I spoke with my head supervisor because they Because what? My head supervisor, this morning before I called you, my head supervisor, they were saying if we, um, we should have the check shredded and have it re-raffled. And I said, no, I'm going to call back. Yes, because that's what they normally do. Once you don't call to claim your cash rewards, because remember, we came by. So if you're not there, that means sometimes the winners are deceased or they're, they change their location and we can't get a hold of them anymore. We can't take the money for ourselves because it's not issued out to us. So what we normally do, we normally have the trek shredded and have the prize re-raffled. But that, they were saying that to me, um, and I said, no, I'm going to call back Mr. Wallace to find out if um, he was not home. And so good I called because you said you were at a doctor's appointment because we thought no one lived there or the house was sold. Oh, no, yeah. I, I, I live here for over 20 years. I just, yeah, I had a doctor. That's the first, first doctor's appointment I had since last year, you know, so I had to go out and get that all handled. Yeah, how you're supposed to, you know. I, yeah, I didn't expect that nobody would be coming up to to talk to me about anything, you know. I did it's to total this whole phone call just a total surprise. Really, it's total surprise. I understand. Well, we were planning on having a surprise for you from day one. That's what we were planning on doing. We we're planning on having a surprise for you from day one. So that's why we uh, on Wednesday. Or last Wednesday, right? Hello? As the Bluetooth went off. Are you hearing me? No, oh, there, there you are. Okay, sorry about that. Sorry about that. That's the delivery guys calling me because... I need to give them, um, I'm going to send them, I'm going to have to have, do back all over the paperwork. So I'm on the computer right now, and I'm telling them that you're out on the road. Can you hold the horn for me, please? Yeah, I can hold on. No, hold the horn. Hold the horn for me. Yeah, I can hold on. No, I said, can you hold the horn? Can you press the the horn? The horn, oh, okay. That's a, that's a Ford, right? I was. That's a Ford. Ford Fiesta. Oh, beautiful, beautiful! I know those car. Well, I don't know if it's really beautiful, but it <laughs> it, it, it gets me it's where I need to, on, I guess. It, it's dependent on the year. Is it an old one or a new one? Is it the new 2024 Fiesta? No, I I didn't get it this year. I think. I got it, babe. I believe I got it around the time when my wife passed away, so probably in 2019 to 2020, so somewhere around there. Oh, beautiful. Well, I uh, thought maybe, that what was that, four or five years ago now? It's been, a, it's been oh, quite a while, I guess. I thought that it was one of the new ones. Have you ever seen the new Ford Fiesta? The uh, 2024 and the 2023? I uh, know. I, I ain't been to the car lot since I got this car. I ain't been to the car lot. Oh, okay, okay. Well, 
I understand. You don't really need another car because you have a good one. So just take care. Just take your time. Do what you got to do because at the end of the day, if you don't need a new car, why get a new car? Yeah, that's what I think because it's a, I've had a, I bring it in a, I would I bring it in maybe like every eight months or so to uh, the service at the Ford dealership, they do, uh, you know, oil change, uh, washing fluid, uh, you know, all oh, those okay. things, blinker fluid, stuff like that, and get that all changed out. And uh, it usually costs maybe, I don't know, I think it's like $300 or so. So it ain't really super cheap. But the way I think about it is, is when you're bringing it to the manufacturer, it's a lot better. You know, it's more, uh, they know what they're doing with it. How far, how far out are you now? Uh, I think I'm probably uh, maybe a minute or so away, not very far. Okay. Are you excited as I am? Because my I I think it feels like this is happening to me. I feel I I'm getting that excited at that rush because I know you're gonna be excited when I, you see me step. When yeah. you see me today, you're gonna be excited. I'm telling you. I still feel a bit like shocked, surprised. I, I don't know. know like I can feel the tensity. I can hear the tens in your vo in your voice talking to me like you're so you're on cloud nine right now, right? I, 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 I'm uh, well, uh, you know I know I was I was I mean originally today all I was gonna do was sit in the house and watch the news, you know, um, well, and on the TV, and uh, then well, all of a sudden you, now I'm getting a phone call, and you know all these other things are coming up, so. I'm just like kind of, you know, shocked, I guess, and, and, and a little bit just trying to well, think about what's going on here. Well, instead of sitting down in the house watching television, you could sit on your porch or on your veranda watching a nice, sexy lady bringing you a big check. With a, uh, you could, uh, can you hear me? You could. I can hear you. I just switched it off the Bluetooth. I just parked. You said a lady bringing me a check. I, I said, it cut out there. It, yeah. All right. So let's. Okay. Let me repeat myself for you. I said, and um, and you you said you were good. All you're gonna do you were gonna do today was sit down and watch television in the house. And I said, well, it's even better sitting down on your porch having a sexy-ass woman bringing you a big check. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. I, guess, I go to the gyms two times a week, so I'm, I'm, I'm looking good. Uh, okay. I have a big hip. What a big fuck? hip and a big ass. And it's, <laughs> really, it's not that huge of a rest, but it's a good size. I love it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, <laughs> what the fuck? Well, I don't know if you're. I know you are. What the um, fuck? You're a widowed. I didn't want to be um, talking to you like that, but at the end of the day, we're all <laughs> big people here. I'm single. You're single. Oh, well, it doesn't matter if we mingle. Oh my gosh! I I I, I, I guess not. Yeah, <laughs> that's just kind of hit me out of left field there. Uh, I, I beg your pardon, darling? What the fuck? Kind of kind of hit me out of left field there. wasn't expecting oh, that. Stop it. Stop it. You let me fuck? blush. It's a guy. It's a guy. You, you just pulled in the Grown ass man saying this. Yeah, I, I pulled in the Walgreens parking lot here. Looks like there's right. kind of a lot. Well, no, it doesn't look. Too, too many people, but there's some people here, uh, for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's going to be really crowdy. Today is Friday. Yeah, Today's that Friday. is true, because I know a lot, 
Because this Walgreens got the uh, pharmacy in it. So I know right. that's a, a lot of people go and they get their refills on a right, Friday. Right. So, all right. So listen to me now. What I need you to do, I need you to listen to me carefully. Okay. Okay. You're gonna go inside. You okay. know, you, you purchased a gift card, bef- uh, a gift card before, right? You uh, normally in your younger I wanna days, hang up, dude. about five, six years ago. To, to mail off to family members, friends, and stuff like that? Um, I've members? purchased, uh, I think I've gotten, for the grandson, I've gotten Target gift cards before. Okay. From so online. You know exactly which oil He'll read me with the 130 and, um, bits. You know which um, <laughs> section of the oil to go to? to Bro, I want to hang cards, up. Right? This is crazy. Um, yeah, I think so. I think it's... Yeah, because I've been in here quite a few times. I think I should know where it is. All right. So what you're going to be doing, I don't want to. I don't I want you on sick, your phone. Bro. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna hang up until you get out of the store. Or, what do you want me to do? Uh, however you want to be done. I'm just following the procedure. All right, because I don't want you to be on your phone while you're in there. That those stuff even raise suspicion. And because I don't want they to think that you have the publisher's clearance house on the line, which it doesn't matter, but we got to take full precaution here. I don't need no unnecessary eye attention on your prize money, because at the end of the day, we are here looking out for you. So what I need you to do, I need you to go, go in. You're going to put the phone down or you could just put it in your pocket. You could just put the phone down and go inside. Remember, you're looking for an American. I'm um, sorry, you're looking for a vanilla gift card. You remember the name of the card, right? Ah, uh, yeah, I got it written down on the paper here. Yeah, so vanilla you're, you're gonna be picking, gift card. Yes, I think they have Visa on it. Just remember, vanilla gift card. So a you're going to pick up two of these. Yes, I think they have Visa on it. I'm not. I'm sure. So listen now, you're going to be picking up two of these cards, $500 a piece. Oh, yeah. When you're back outside, you give me yeah, a call Lander, I've in definitely, your truck. Okay? I feel like I've definitely talked to this guy before, but he was not this Or do you want to leave the phone in the truck? Do you want to leave the phone uh, in the truck? Yeah, I could just leave it in here. Okay, leave the line open and leave it in the truck. Okay, so I go in and get, wait, how many am I getting? You're getting two vanilla gift cards, five hundred dollars a piece. That's total to a thousand dollars. That's exactly what we bought. You, I told you, and you you um you were notified of this, right? Okay, okay, uh, and I can what, pay for this with a credit card. Yes, just want to make sure. Credit card. Uh, yeah, I think so. You have a debit card. I, I have debit- I have my debit card and I have my credit card, so I could use either, whichever way. Okay, hold on. Understand what I hang up and call me back. Can you end the call and call me right back? Uh, hang up and call me back. Hang up and then just call back. Right, right away. Do that for me, please. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. What? Hang up and call back. Yeah, I definitely feel like I've talked to this guy before. He sounds very familiar, but I've never talked to a PCA scammer that's. Cr- Come straight out and said that, dude. Like, as they're pretending to be a chick, like, oh my gosh. Hello? Hello. All right, that's good. Now, just put down the phone, go inside. Remember, you're going to be picking up two vanilla. Visa, it's a Visa, it's a Visa gift card. So you're going to be picking up two of those $500 a piece. When you reach out the cashier to cash out, if they ask you what's the purpose of the card, you tell them it's for a family member and you get out of there. Cool. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, all right. Just leave the phone in the car and go do what you got to do. Just say hello when you're back. I have you on speakerphone. 
Okay, give me like maybe five or ten minutes or so, uh, okay? I don't know how big the line is. Just take your time. Just take your time. We don't in a no rush now, okay? Take your time. Okay. All right, I'll, I'm going to go do that then. I'll just put the phone in the center console on there. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. And he's muted. Oh my gosh. Guys, they're they're not in India, they're not in the Philippines, they're it's a Jamaican scammer. What the fuck was that, dude? What was that? Bro. Bro. What? Hello. What? Yo, Rex with the freaking three month resub. Yo, thank you, man. Thank you for the three months, dude. Bro, what? What is going on, man? Like, <laughs> bro. Oh my gosh, dude. Like, bro, this bump a clot scammer, man. He, bro, did you guys hear what he said, man? Like, oh my, I, bro, I wanted to hang up, man. Honestly, I still like kind of want to hang up. Okay, bro, that felt that made me feel fucking sick, dude. Like. <laughs> Bro, in your days with the freaking hundred bits, yo, thank you. you, fucking, fucking, you Starting bloody, up a freaking hype train, bloody, man. Fuck you, yo, bloody, thank you, dude. Mother, bloody, fuck, bitch. Oh my gosh, man, that's that's just absolutely insane. Like, bro, what? <laughs> this has to become a video, maybe. Like this, okay. I would. That was crazy, man. That was crazy. Yo, exhibit designer Kyle with the hundred bits. Yo, thank you, man. Much appreciated, dude. Thank you for the hundred bits. Like, bro. <laughs> Sexual harassment PCH, bro. <laughs> Call the actual PCH. Tell tell him I want to speak to HR for sexual harassment. Oh my gosh, man! That I was just like when when they said that I was like, I was like, what? What? You're stealing my money. What are you talking about right now? What are you talking about? Too bad I can't get a meal from this guy. But bro. My goodness, man. My goodness. And it's like the, the PCH scammer from what? What was that? Last week? No, the week before. Where he said the other PCH scammer that said he was going to go to my house, bring a bunch of beer and alcohol, and we were going to have a party. And he kept trying to, like, fucking ask me out and shit. Bro, what is going on with the Jamaican PCH scammers, man? So something's going on there, dude. Like, so, something's going weird, man. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. My goodness. I don't really know what I'm gonna... I, th I think I'm just gonna expose this, this scammer, like, old school way. And just call them out, you know what I mean? I, I, I'm just gonna call them out and be like, Dude, you're a fucking scammer. Like, <laughs> you know? Um... Yeah, I, I think that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> because dude, this is, is such a weird call, man. It's such a weird call. And then it, it's a scammer that I called like over a week ago, too. And left a, like they played the voicemail that I left. They They played the voicemail that I left right there. 
Uh, at first, I thought it may have been like a troll. I was like, oh, some fucking troll is calling my phone. You know what I mean? And then I go, and then he plays the voicemail, and I was like, oh, yeah. I left a fucking, I left a a voicemail to a bunch of, a, a bunch of freaking PCH scammers last week. That's probably what this is, man. Like, oh my gosh, man. Uh. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I, I have a timer going right now. So we've been in the, in the Walgreens for three minutes now. I'm surprised he didn't tell me to take the phone in with him or with me. Usually that's what they do, but they decided to, well, sometimes Jamaican scammers, they say either, either which way, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, man, my goodness, my goodness, man. What do you guys think about this call so far? What would you guys rate it, man? What would you guys rate this call so far? What, what do you, what do you guys think about it, man? On a, on a scale of like one to ten, what what would you guys rate it as? Right now, I'd say like a good solid eight, eight and a half. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. We got a six point eight, seven point eight, another ten out of ten. Bat shit crazy. Eight out of nine. What? <laughs> We're going out of ten here. It's pretty shocking. Nine. Eleven. Seven. Ten. Seven. Ten. Unhinged. Eight. Seven. Nine, ten. Nine out of eleven, bro. Sixteen out of eleven. My goodness. So we'll give it like another two two minutes or so, and then I'm gonna, you know, apparently come back into the car. So I've had this guy how long have we had him on the phone? Almost an hour now? Right? I think, I think it was like three minutes and twenty seven seconds into the stream when they okay. called, or three hours, three minutes, three hours and twenty seven minutes into the call when they called. Yo, girl G seventy seven with the freaking five hundred bits. Yo, thank you. Hello. And Ooglies with the freaking <laughs> or Pooglies <laughs> with the freaking three months. Yo, thank you, much appreciated. My goodness, my goodness. Oh, uh, what what a what a stream so far, man. We we got gang stalked by the CIA and now we're talking to a PCH that is apparently like in love with me or something. My goodness. My goodness. Come on, come on. So we'll give it like another minute here. Cause I did I did tell the scammer that it was kind of packed. As I, I said there was like quite a few people there. So I don't want to be too fast because if I'm too fast, it's gonna be I mean, even though we're already like at the end of the call because I'm about to expose them, you guys know how it is. Like there's not really much else you can do when uh you know, when you're here. Should I chicken them? You guys want me to chicken them? I mean, I already know you guys are going to want me to chicken them. The Broccoli Harvester. The Broccoli Harvester. Well, I'm Paul Wallace today. Isn't that... Didn't I say that as Frank Simmons? I don't remember. I told I, when I left the voicemail, I told them Paul Wallace. Yeah. 
give them fake codes and chicken them. Well, the thing with the chicken is they have me on speakerphone. So it's not going to be super effective. I think I might just call them out and uh, try and trash talk them and call them out for being extremely weird. Um, because as you heard and as you could like hear as I was talking to them, it's it's on speaker. Like I could hear some other stuff going on in the background throughout the call too. Like they they've had me on speakerphone for I think the entire call probably. So the if I do chicken them, it's not going to be very effective at all. I can call out a lot more. Yeah, you're not wrong. They said some weird stuff, man. He's just going to hang up? Even if he does, that's still good. We, we've wasted almost an hour of this scammer's time. And they called me, so that makes it even better. Weirdo scammer. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Someone robs me in the car and takes the gift cards. Eh, that's not a horrible idea. All right, one. We'll, we'll leave it till it goes to eleven minutes here, and then we're gonna come back to the car. Let me get this ready. Oh man. I I hope I hope they have some sort of reaction. I hope they have some sort of some sort of reaction here. The scammers. I really got to get to fixing this the the freaking chat for the PCH calls sometime here. <laughs> Cuz it's still horrible. Uh All right, here we go, guys. We're going into this. Oh, wait, let me grab a shoot. All right, here we go. Okay. Here we go. Hello? I'm here. You're back? Yeah, I'm back. Just got back in. Sorry it took so long. There was like five people on the line when I got up there. It was quite, oh, you did, it was you quite did, a bit. You didn't, have any, you didn't have any problems getting the cards, right? No, I, I found them. I actually was able to ask the person. There was somebody stalking right there, so I just asked them, and they helped me to it. So it wasn't that big oh, of a okay. deal, thankfully. What, but it was kind of packed what, in there. It was a bit, it was a bit, I, you know, 
I Pass. told you before you went in. I told you before you went in. Let, um, could you start up the car? Start. Remember, it's really hot. I don't want you to to get a heat stroke or something. Could you start up the car? I don't need you to drive off as yet. Start up the car for me and see if you could get those. Um, what's the color of the cards? Uh, they're like kind of like what would you call this color? Like not like sparkly. Gold, with champagne. gold, and it has like a there's uh, a gift think, it right, says and it, a present. Pull thing. it out of the pull it out of the plastic now. I need you to pull it out of the plastic, and then you will see the actual color off the card because you're not really seeing the actual color because it's in the it's it's sealed. Take it oh, out okay, of the plastic. Okay, let seal. me try and do that. Let's see here. Okay, I got it out here. All two? You got all two out? Oh, uh, let me get the other one. Hold on. Okay, there's, I got the other one. All right. All right, there's a 16-digit number on the front of the card. Could you read that out to me? Yeah, it looks, it looks almost just like my debit card. But right, it feels right. very means, flimsy. It doesn't feel as right. strong it, it as mine. It doesn't have a trip. It doesn't have a trip in it. If it has a trip, you would say it's actually a debit card. But anyway, you have a 16-digit number there on the front of it, the card, right, sweetie? So, yeah, there's a number, card expires, a gift for you, only valid only in the United States, debit that's visa. That's correct. De that's correct. Give me the 16-digit on the front of the card. Okay, it, it says 4118. Uh-huh. Uh, one zero three one. Uh huh. One zero three one. Uh huh. Three three eight seven. Three three eight seven. Yeah, three three eight seven. Uh huh. You're a bumba clot scammer. Did you get it? I got it clear. <laughs> That's the whole code. So why would you why would you say I'm a scammer? Why would you say that? What do you mean? What's that word you used to me before? Bump you're a bumba clot scammer. Isn't that what, what that you word are? Bumba clot. What's that you're, word? You're I've a never you're a sexual that. harassment bumba clot scammer. No, sure, I'm not. Why would you say oh, that? Oh, uh, so if I go and I call the PCH, are you going to pick up the phone if I call the number on their website? So if I ask for Miss so Mary or Mr. Mary. So how you've been on the phone for almost an hour and you re you went down to the Walmart and back. So wh why would you say that? To Walmart? I thought we were at Walgreens. You're not even getting your story straight now, scammer. I think you said you're at the Wal you're at the Walgreens. Yeah, that's where we went. Remember? You can't remember now. You didn't, you didn't go anywhere. Yeah, I did. I'm sitting in the Walgreens parking lot right now. I'm just reading so what it says on this card here. It says right here, "Bumba Clot Scammer" for the last four digits. What's the expiration date? Let me see. The the expiration says not this time, scammer. Are you a moron? So you're saying to me that you you've got scammed before? Oh. Are you mad? <laughs> Do 
Do you understand what's happening right now? I'm guessing not. I'm lost. I'm I'm lost. What what's going on? See, here's the thing. You're a scammer, and I'm fucking with you. Oh. I oh yeah, there you go. You you need me to spell it out for you. You're 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 not really all too fast up there, are you? <laughs> and then they hang up. What a moron! What a moron, bro! I literally said you're a bumper god scammer, and they're like, "Okay, well, what's the expiration date? Are you serious?" And then they said, well, you're at Walmart. You fucking idiot. What are you talking about? Let me call back. Oh, my gosh. Oh. (laughs) Oh. Oh. What an idiot, man. Oh, my gosh. Oh, are they not going to pick up to my number now? Hello? Hello? Hi, is this the scammer hotline for dummies? Why would you say that, sir? Come on, aren't you, aren't you the scammer that tried scamming me out of my money? No, I'm not. What? Who are you? Isn't this Mary? No, this is not Mary. Who is it? Who is this? You're speaking with Louise. What you were the one that called me. You're talking about you had a big ass and all this other stuff. You fucking weirdo. The hell's wrong with you? You understand? Why are you sitting out here begging for? Oh my! My phone software just fucking. Bro, I'm literally using the web app version of my phone software, and it says trying to connect to servers. I'm using the fucking web app, you stupid piece of shit. So let me refresh it and call back. Gosh damn it. Oh my gosh, trying to connect to our... Let me fucking go to my alternative. This is so stupid. Let me call. Ah, jeez. Hello? Yes, hello. Sir, who would you like to speak with? I got a missed call on my phone saying something about some lottery. I think you got the wrong number, sir. Ah, I'm fucking lying to you. It's me, bitch. It's me, you bitch. Fuck you. Who you. Who are you calling a bitch? Who are you? You! Who else would I be calling that? The person who is sitting on the phone stealing people's money, you piece of shit. Sir, I need you to go repent and go to church and stop Repent and go to phone. church. You don't even know Jesus. Shut the hell up, you fucking liar. <laughs> oh, they hung up on me. Let me call back. <laughs> repent and go to church. Dude, you're in the middle of stealing money from people. <laughs> what a freaking hypocrite, man. Now they don't want to. Th- you know where the number is going after this. Does it? Will it let me go to voicemail? Let me see. The text now subscriber oh, text you are trying now. to reach is not available. Oh. Please leave your message after the tone. <laughs> you know what I could do. I can report junk. There we go. I just reported junk on their text now. Let me call them with another number. Let me call again. The number you are trying to reach is no longer in service. Oh, they blocked me. Oh, they're blocking me now. 
You're blocking me now. You sit on the phone with me for almost or for an hour at this point, and now you're blocking me. Hello. 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 Hi, a pleasant good day to you. How are you doing, ma'am? Uh, I'm okay. How are you? I am doing wonderful. And who am I speaking with? Uh, my name's Barbara. Okay. Barbara, um, you got a call from this number? Yeah, that's right. How long ago was that, ma'am? Uh, I have no idea. I just was checking my answering machine and I was going back through my missed calls. Okay, okay, because um, you're speaking with Helen Foster, and I'm with the Mega Millions Lottery Sweepstakes Department. You okay? fucking lying bitch! Now you're working for Mega Millions, you stupid piece of shit! It's <laughs> they hang up. <laughs> I caught you, motherfucker! I caught you! I fucking caught you, motherfucker! <laughs> Got you, bitch! You fucking liar! <laughs> The make a millions? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Are you kidding? Let's see if I'm blocked now. They just move on to the next person. The number you are trying to reach oh, is no longer in service. Oh, I'm blocked. I, I got him. I got him right in the act. And they changed their name too. Their name was Mary before. And now it's Helen Foster. And instead of working for PCH, they're working with the Mega Millions. Oh my gosh, I got you! <laughs> oh, let's go, man. Let's go, dude. That's what I'm talking about, man. Caught caught them right in the act. Caught them right in, like, literally okay, right in the I act. just give one click on it. Yo, holy shit, Seattle Jen with the freaking five gifted subs. Yo, thank you. Thank you for the freaking five gifted subs. Oh man, they well, all my numbers are blocked now, so I think you guys know what time it is, man. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, this is definitely going up as a video, man.